Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, it's very easy to do so. Just create a YouTube user account and hit that subscribe button right up there. It's as easy as that. If you haven't visited my Instagram, my Instagram, it will be right there right now. It's sports car fun and it'll have all the pictures of the motorcycles and the cars from the different events I've visited. This is a short vlog today just to let you guys know what I'm up to. I've been visiting a lot of car events lately. Uh, what I normally do is I go go and visit an event, I go and film it for the day, I come back, get up the next day, go and film another one and then I need to edit all that footage and before I know it I'm going to another event. It's taken me two to three days to edit each one and I'm currently editing an awesome event so in about two days time, it should be two days, the next video will be uploaded after this one. Shortly I'll show you a sneak preview of that event. I want to just show you some of the um, camera gear what I'm using at the moment. I'll just take you into the next room and I'll show you exactly what I'm using. And if by magic, here we are. So this is the camera equipment I currently use. Uh, you're now uh, watching on the GoPro Hero 3 Plus, the black edition. And I'm recording in full HD 1080p NTSC. And I currently use, I uh, also use the Mobius which you've seen before, but um, the comments I've had from you guys is please don't use the Mobius again, so I won't. The quality is pretty poor and uh, the, you should be seeing some footage of this uh, Mobius on the screen right now, which I took over the golf course. If you've watched one of my uh, videos recently, you'd have seen uh, some of the footage was pretty dark with this and the quality wasn't as good. So the Mobius is only going to be used on the drone from now on. So the other item I use or camera, a piece of a camera equipment is the Canon, uh, if we can see that, the Canon 600 EOS 600D. Now it's fantastic for vlogging, a lot of vloggers use it, they attach a tripod underneath as you can see there's one there and then what they do is they hold it at a distance like this and they vlog with it. The only problem is it's the 600D has not got autofocus. Now you should be viewing me on the Canon EOS 600D. So the only problem is with this one, the 600D, is that it hasn't got autofocus. So I've already had to manually uh, focus this image to start recording without, um, without being able to move too far. If I go out or I go in <laughs> too far, uh, it should start to go out of focus. So uh, I need a Canon DSLR that will autofocus and the 70D will autofocus. So I've contacted a company, I thought it's pointless having the 600D in a cupboard where I'm not using it. And this company said they'll part exchange uh, this EOS 600D for £160 against a 70D, which is around £700. So I'll get £160 off if I trade in this camera, which I think is a pretty good deal. And um, that means then it will autofocus when I get closer and go back. It will stay in focus. The image will stay in focus all the while. Sorry, I can't help looking at the viewfinder. That's the other advantage. As you can see, I've got the viewfinder. So um, it's a flip screen. I can flip it round uh, so that when I'm filming cars, I can see it. And then I can flip it back like this. The only problem is I haven't got a stabilizer for it. So uh, you can get stabilizers like this one. You can see the GoPro there on the stabilizer. Hopefully you can see that, that, that's it. You can see the GoPro on the stabilizer and you can see it in action as you turn it, it will turn as well. And the good thing is uh, the stabilizers made my images a lot sharper. They've made a much, uh, sorry, a lot steadier. My images are now a lot steadier due to this. So as you can see, it's fantastic piece of equipment didn't cost a lot of money about 123 133 pounds and all of a sudden all of my filming has got a lot steadier uh, the only problem is it's three axes it hasn't got a fourth axis so in other words it isn't steady in that way so when I film along like this it's steady as it doesn't wobble about and vibrate but it, my footage tends to go up and down a little bit. You've probably noticed it in some of my videos. It has been mentioned to me that as I film, going around a car like that, it's not steady like some people do it, as if, you, as if it was on, um, some, uh, like on a tripod or something where it would be really steady. 
um, my footage isn't steady, it tends to go sort of up and down, not as exaggerated as that, but as I go along the length of the car it tends to go up instead of being nice and steady. So uh, you can get gimbals with a fourth axis, but they tend only to be on um, DSLRs. So you can get a motorized gimbal for a DSLR like a Canon and uh, that'll have a fourth axis. It has pistons in the bottom of the gimbal to allow it um, to like shock absorb as, uh, the motion as you go along and you get much steadier, uh, sorry, I'll move around here. I've got a window behind there and you get much steadier uh, footage. But there is another way of getting very steady images. You can use a slider rail. So if I wanted to take a nice steady image of Stuart, this Stuart, not this Stuart, then this motorized gimbal wouldn't be that good because it's only three axes. I need a fourth axis to uh, make it nice and steady as I move along. So I don't go up and down like that. So being as I haven't got one, a motorized uh, rail would be ideal. And then uh, this Stuart would look a lot steadier. Plays guitar nearly as good as I do. <laughs> so what we are, could ideally do with is a motorized rail. Wow, where did that come from? Okay, so here we have a motorised rail. So let's unbox this rail. Don't worry, I will speed this up. So the next step is to put all of this together, charge up the battery and film Stuart, this Stuart, not this Stuart, um, you're not filming me while I'm playing guitar, <laughs> right. Right so that didn't take long, that took literally about 10 minutes to put together, probably about 10 to 12 minutes, something like that, it doesn't take long at all. So here we go. We've got the slider, you have an end plate to screw on via one screw under here, it is so quick to put on. And then obviously the other end, we've got another one where you do the same again, there's a screw underneath there, so that's two screws. Then you put this little wheel on here which takes the belt, so you can see there's a toothed belt that goes around it. So that just screws on there, so that's one, two, three screws in total so far. And then there's the motor, that's all it is, you can see by my finger how small this motor is. So basically that is a tiny little motor there and that has one screw as well. I will put the link uh, in the description to the video of how to build this one. So I'll put up on the screen which actual model it is, how much I paid for it. And I'll also put a link to the video because I've seen the video online. Uh, how to build it so I already knew how to put it together and it's literally just those four items this one's got a slight bit of damage on the rail there so I'm gonna get some emery paper and I'm gonna try and file that down a bit I don't know if you can see that so a little bit of damage right where the it goes past on the rail but other than that that is all the damage it's come all the way from China show you the controller so to power it on you got to, well just power it off right so to power it on just press that and off it goes you might be able to hear it and then it's nearly at the end so i want it to come back don't want to get stuck i hit reverse and there it is coming back towards us and if we want it to go faster you'll you'll hear it and you can hear that you'll see it's coming quicker and quicker i'll turn it up more and more now I'll hit reverse. And if I turn it up to full speed, you'll see it get quicker. All right, that's going at full speed now. So you can see if it hits the end, it's going to start snagging on it and burn out the motor. So you have to, at full speed, you're going to have to stop it quite a bit earlier. Right, let's just turn that right down. So this is powering off the battery. So it's nice, sm slow, smooth motion. 
and then we've also got the joystick so it's coming towards us at the moment if I want it to move to back to the uh, the other way to the left just hit it and there it goes if I want it to come back I'll show you from here so I want it to come back towards us I'll hit it to the right and there it is now I'll make it go a bit faster I'll hold it right over to the right and I'll ease it off a bit go back to the left slowly go fully to the left you can hear the noise it's making so yeah you can remotely although it's not wireless you can remotely operate this so you're not in shot and uh, it looks pretty good so now let's put the GoPro on it let's bring it back over and I'll put the GoPro on it and I'll show you guys uh, the kind of shots I'm trying to get of vehicles so let's go and put this on top of here so now we're going to press the power button on here and I've got it set fairly slow about 25 23 something like that and it's going to move over to the left the camera will move to the left and uh, then it's going to record Stuart very slowly while he plays his guitar so here we go and we will probably um, we'll probably uh, cue in some uh, dramatic music or something as well at some point so there we go Stuart's off playing his guitar right where we started so I hope you enjoyed today's vlog you now know what I'm up to but I'm heavily editing a video at the moment you've seen some of that footage you've seen the cameras you've seen the slider you know everything that's going on at the moment I'm gonna get this video obviously up as quick as I can and then within two days I promise you that awesome video which you were viewing part of will be up online for you guys to view if you haven't already subscribed there's that button the like buttons below the comment section is below you guys are absolutely awesome thank you so much for supporting me i really do appreciate all the comments and all the feedback guys just don't let anybody get you down anything is possible good things are happening right now and the same is for you guys if you can achieve anything you want just think positive and good things will happen thank you all so much for watching i'll see you again in a couple of days that video will be up so i'll see you all again soon Thank you. Goodbye.